guys, welcome to Let's Effects, the place for newbies, indies, as well as low budgeters. Today guys, we're going to be attempting to do something without the actual software needed to do it. So today guys, we're going to be doing a fire text effect. Now, I tried to pull this off in Headfilm Express, although it lacks a 3D model engine or a 3D extrusion effect for text, so you can't really make the text 3D. And also, obviously, you can't really do much particle effect. So I decided to head over to guess where? Guess where? Come on, I'll give you guys a guess. Trumbo, please. Production crate. Now, Production Care have recently released a new typography kit which includes the entire alphabet as well as a few punctuation icons that have um, extruded, they have been extruded and they have fire attached to them which is really cool for people like us who have hit from Express and don't want to actually pay for add-ons or stuff like that. Production Crate is 100% free um, to actually sign up on and you get a free number of downloads every single day from all of their free downloads including some of these letters which I think um, quite a bit of them are actually free to download so definitely hit the production crate down in the description and uh, download some of those assets. The reason I always bring up production crate is not necessarily because I work with them even though we do work with them full disclosure on the channel from time to time um, but actually because if you look at their website their whole website is structured around the you know independent filmmaker the indie filmmaker the person like us who has like you know who's shooting in the bedroom who has like doesn't have cinema cameras who doesn't have cash to just you know fly around the place buying thousand dollar softwares every single day it's uh i don't know what that was it's designed for people who don't really have much to work with and if i check um production crate especially from some of you guys i see lots of signups every single day because signing up is 100 percent free like i said you just go onto the website create a free account and then you can immediately download a whole bunch of free assets every single day and um, upgrading to their pro account is definitely worth it although you guys definitely don't have to do that upgrading to their pro account essentially gives you unlimited downloads access to all of their libraries including graphics crate render crate production crate sounds crate everything all of the different crates that they've got going on um it gives you unlimited downloads get you downloads be able to download 4k files stuff like that a lot more uh, sort of advanced but definitely sign up for a free account if you haven't already and check what you can get for free because you don't have to sign up for a pro account although eventually i think you might want to because um that's what happened to me so without further ado, let's jump into Hitfilm Express and make some really cool fire effects and I'll show you some of the assets we're going to be using for this as well. Let's go. Hello there. Surprised to see me again? Well, new setup. Been liking it? Let's do it again. So as I said, we're mainly going to be using Production Crate's newly released Inferno type kit which contains all the letters of the alphabet including a few punctuation marks. Now as far as I know, and as you can see on screen right now, the letters from A through all the way to Z, so your basic letters, are 100% free to download if you have a free account. The others, obviously you need a pro account to download. Now I'm going to be using all of the free letters which are all the capital letters, but I'm also going to be using just one pro asset, but obviously you don't have to and you can get away with using only the free ones. I'm also going to be using some of the ember footage now um, like all of their assets they have tons of different ember files all at different angles different sizes different wind velocities etc and obviously like the rest of their assets uh, quite a few of them are actually free to download now in my case I'm gonna be using pro assets although you don't have to you can use some of the free ones as they will work just as well as you can see on the screen right now and I will leave the links to the ember files that we're gonna be using as well as the type kit inferno in the description down below but now let's get into this so here we are back in hit from express with a completely fresh locked and loaded comp i've imported all of the assets as well so that includes basically the ember files that we're going to be using the different letters that i've downloaded i also have some burn textures which in this particular case since the background is black i never really got around to using although these are really cool if you want to um, composite these letters or any type of fire textures into your scene obviously those can be found on the website as well so in order to get started what i want to do first of all is find my first letter in that case to spell out the reds effects it's going to be the odd and i'm going to drag it into the timeline now what I'm going to do is use this letter as my base letter to sort of reference all of the other letters. Now what I mean by that is that I'm going to first of all adjust the scale until I have it. So this is going to be a title screen. So it's going to be quite large. Now if you are putting this onto a wall or something like that, obviously you can mess around with the 3D tracking type of features. You know, check this box over here, turn it into a 3D plane, adjust it. But in my case, it's a flat 2D intro type of effect. So I'm just going to be leaving it simple like this. So let's modify the scale a little bit and this is looking good to me. Now the first word doesn't extend really 
uh, farther off the screen since it's only a couple of letters. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Now, what I meant by using this as a template is because let's just round this out to nice letters over here, to nice numbers, sorry. So let's put it to 330, boom. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select scale and position and I'm gonna hit copy and then I'm gonna drag in the next letter. So to drag in the next letter, let's just head over to the media panel and then drag in the E. Now on that E, go to the controls panel, under transform, select once again the position and the scale and then right click and click paste and boom, we now have the E over there. So let's then just adjust the E so that it's a little bit separated. There we go, it looks good to me. And then we'll basically just repeat that for all of the letters. And now we have all of the letters on our screen in the exact position that we want them to be. In. Now, another thing that I did really quickly is if you can see over here, I wanted this intro to be around five seconds long. So I went to five seconds in the timeline and I noticed that the files don't actually extend beyond that. But something that's really cool about these assets is that they are loopable. So I just duplicated each one, slid them along, slid, slid, is that a word? I'm not sure. So I slided them along the timeline until they were obviously after the four second mark. And then they perfectly looped into one another as you can see and then I just trimmed them to be five seconds long. Something else I'm gonna do here is that I noticed that these, while they look really good, they need some embers coming off of the actual individual letters. So to do that, I'm gonna be using some of these 4K ember rising files from Production Crate. So for example, uh, this is a bit of a uh, hefty type of comp to render. So uh, just to show you guys what this looks like, I'm gonna turn off all of the letters um, except the first one. So I can show you guys how to add the embers. So let's drag the embers in. As you can see, these are extending from the bottom of the screen. So let's then just adjust the scale till they're looking decent. Slide them along. And I'm gonna use the actual letter to hide the base of the embers so that it appears that it's coming from the letter and there's no hard edge. Because otherwise, without that, we would have this type of edge here. Now, it's not really noticeable, but um, it would be weird if it was just coming from nowhere. So I'm gonna be just dragging these behind it. Oops. Let's drag it behind it. Maybe a bit up. And now we have embers coming from this letter. So you can obviously repeat these for all of the letters, uh, every second letter, only a couple of letters. It's all up to you. These ember files also, I left them just as is because I wanted to be subtle. And um, if you zoom in, they actually do blend really well with the actual asset. Um, they don't really look like too sharp to be um, from the same top, uh, type of element or origin. So I didn't have to add any uh, camera blur or things like that, like we used to do in the previous um, tutorials. I just left it as is. The glow was also looking fine because I I know that I'm gonna be adding a few glows later on. So the last thing that I wanna do, let's just turn all of the layers back on. The last thing I wanna do is add a bit of some, something to like spice up the background because it's looking just, you know, a bit boring and black right now. So, and empty. So I wanna add something in the background to spice it up and make it look a bit more flavorful. So in order to do that, I'm gonna be using the falling embers from Production Crate and I'm gonna drag it right to the bottom of the timeline. And as you can see, now we have it looking a bit spiced up. So what I'm gonna do to this is I'm gonna take it over here and I'm gonna just increase the scale a bit. Then I'm gonna duplicate it so it's a little bit more visible. And that's looking good to me. The final step guys is what I wanna do is I wanna select all of my different layers and I'm gonna make a new composite shot and I'm gonna call that final. Now the final step over here, what I like to do is a bit of a color adjustment. So let's create a new gray layer. And then onto that gray layer, we're going to add two versions of the glow effect. So for the first glow effect, what we're gonna do is set the intensity to 1.2. We're then going to set the threshold to 85, and we're gonna set the radius to 400. Now obviously this is just based on my own personal preference and me playing around with it because I really like this little orange halo glow that's happening around the, the center of the letters. And I like that because it sort of, uh, sort of emphasizes how glowing and how hot this fire can actually be. So for the second glow effect, I wanna have a bit more of a punchy glow that's more centered towards the center of the letters instead of expanding into the background. So let's add another glow effect. So for this one, I thought a really cool idea would be to um, sort of it's right now looking very, very blown out. So what I wanna do is actually keyframe it to be really bright and then sort of fade down into a bit more of a uh, manageable glow. So in order to do that, let's turn on keyframing for the intensity of the second glow layer at the start of the timeline and set it to something like one. I'm then going to set the threshold to 80. 
I'm going to set the radius as well to 80 and I'm going to finally select the blend mode and turn it to add. Boom, now that's looking nice. So what I then wanna do is hop along the timeline, maybe to around three seconds or so, and then I'm gonna turn that intensity down to a more manageable and uh, sort of diluted number, so like 0.5. Now we have a nice looking glow. So future always coming to you here because old always forgot to actually talk about heat distortion, which is a really cool way to actually add another layer of spice to this effect. So the heat distortion effect, as you can see here in the effects panel, comes actually completely free with heat from Express. So in order to use this and utilize it in a more subtle way, but it's actually more of a subconscious effect. So you can notice it, but you're not really sure what, but it just looks right. So the way to do this is create a new grade layer that we're gonna place on top of everything, including our glow, and then add the heat distortion effect to it. Then in the controls panel, just follow these settings. So we're gonna set the scale to 30. We're gonna set the distortion to 40. We'll leave the diffusion bias on 25 and the diffusion strength will bump down to 30. And that should give you a really cool looking distortion effect. You can obviously tone this down or up based on your own preferences, but there's another cool tidbit just to throw in there. As you can see, the embers have disappeared, so obviously VFX is all about problem solving. Let's head back into our comp. Let's duplicate those embers and scroll them along. Really cool thing about these assets, they're all loopable, so you won't really notice the fact that they are just sort of starting again because it's seamless and they're loopable and boom, as we can see, it's been fixed. But there you have it guys, these are just a few simple tips in order to do this. Now obviously if you were doing this from scratch, building your own particles, your own embers, using particle systems, your own 3D letters, you'd have a lot more flexibility with the sort of font and stuff. But as you can see, we are using HitFilm Express, it is completely free. Um, these assets are also free. So to do this in your bedroom for 100% free without having to do any of the nitty gritty deep work and just have a really cool looking logo that's on fire, that's pretty cool. So follow all those steps, download the assets using the links below, and you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. There you have it guys, a really cool fiery intro that you can pull off 100% for free in HitFilm Express with Production Crate. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have any particular effects that you want to see, leave it down below in the description. The channel might be a little bit quiet. Um, for a while because um, we are approaching the end of the year things are really ramping up with school now that we are back after all of the fuss um, So I might be a little bit I might be posting uh, a little less um, Sort of regularly as I used to but uh, yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed it leave some recommendations down below and I will check them out for any effects that you want to see using Anything, just go ham down below. Leave a like as well. Share this with all of your mates if they want to create their own intros. Uh, share it around. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your cat, tell your dog, and especially tell those goldfish. They also want to end in the action. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.